Okay. That's, uh, that's not great. If we just uh, drive off. We could run them all over. That's pretty interesting, but we're not going to go ahead and do that. Alright, if we just park around here. This guy needs uh, more ammunition. Which give him 100 rounds. Oh, crap. We need 100 rounds. Take him out! Yeah! Dying in seconds. Can't make it to the front lines. Awesome. Now, hopefully, they don't sort of uh, start to run to us. Oh, I was going to run over and clean up all that mess. No, nope, apparently not. That's fine. Don't worry about it. So this cop has slowed down a little bit. Oh, no, it hasn't. It's, it's, it's still going, apparently. And the iron is still going at the same time, which is pretty great to look at. Let's see how many piercing rounds we have now. Now that we have a, a giant production line on there. Let's make some lights. While we're making those lights, let's see what we got. Look at all this steel. I'm not going to run out of there anytime soon. Excuse me. Right, so let's see. Nope, we're not running out. Production is looking pretty good right now. We're making a decent amount of piercing rounds. It's going to take us a little while to actually get as many as we need. We might want to make one more of those, and I think I will. Just because it's taken us a little while. What we'll do is we'll place some lights around the place. The, the place, place, light around the place. Just because we don't have much around here. There we are. We'll put one right here as well. We don't need many. Oh. Mo was like, we need many. Okay, fine, Merv. I'll make many. There we go. That'll do. That bit is a bit uh, laid in darkness, but that's fine. We don't have to worry about that. All right, let's use the speed up transport belts right here. That should be enough. No, maybe one more. Nah, two more. Why not? <laughs> two more. Good luck. It's all good. It's all for good luck. Merv, your secret door is right open. You can literally fly in there right now. Don't you dare argue with me, you bastard. Okay? I'm the one in charge here, not you. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, that's, that's, that's rich. That's rich coming from you, Merv. How dare you? How are you why are you going to go down that deep? All right. You know what? I'm not going to talk to you. It's not worth it. You, how dare you say that about my mother? I'm going to kill you. I'm not going to do that. How dare you? How dare you, Merv? <laughs> Merv, everybody. Ah, <laughs> oh, fantastic. Right. What we need to do? We need to make one of these. And we need to get one of these fast belts. And we... Already have some inserters on us. Yeah, we have two exactly. That's pretty great. What we need to do is go back on this a little bit, which is pretty unfortunate. What we'll do is uh, this. We might want to go back one just so it immediately throws them into the steel chest. I mean, we may as well. Did we just destroy that? Yeah, we did. There we go. Anyway. Alright, so that... Uh, no, we, we could have left it there anyway and just made the insert here. So, there we go. Make that, including the fast one. There we are. We'll make one more of these. Need to go around and gather some more stuff. And then we will go ahead and make some more piercing rounds. Oh, it takes a little bit. It just, it, well, it was about three seconds, in it? There we are. And it plunks it right into that. Which is pretty fantastic. So it's going to take us a little while. But we should have everything else other than the solar panels. So what we will need to do is just try and make some more solar panels. Put them into a chest. What do we have in here? Just a bunch of random stuff? Yeah, random stuff. Then a bunch of uh, random steel plate. We're not really storing the steel plate anywhere, anywhere, are we? Not to my knowledge. It goes around here. That's for a reason, though. But other than that, we're not really putting it anywhere. There's a lot of it in there. Oh, no, down here. Okay. We have a bunch of... 4.8k... <laughs> Of steel plate. So that's right. We've got all the steel plate and all the iron plate as well. Even. We, I know we have both of them. I kept playing, uh, kept saying steel plate though. I believe we have 4.8k of steel plate as well. Yeah, 4.8. 4.8. We definitely have the copper plate. I will say that for a fact. In fact, we probably have it all in there. Yep, for the most part. We will eventually have all the piercing rounds we need. Now we just need to make a bunch of solar panels. Now to make all these solar panels, we will need to have a lot... Of electrical circuits, steel plate, and copper plate, which is fine. We already have four of them in our inventory. So what we'll do is we'll probably just take a bunch of copper plate from it. Uh, wow, apparently we have a bunch of copper plate in here. That's fine. We'll pick some of that up. I think I knew that was there, but we need a uh, constant production. We'll pick some of these up as well. Might want to uh, take some science, start drinking it. That sounds like a pretty good idea. What's going on there? Nothing going into that for some reason. I think it's because there's no inserter there. It's just been covered. I may have got rid of it accidentally. Or I just didn't put anything there. Anyway, there we go. That's a bit strange. 
Right. I'll take a drink of water. Mmm. <sighs> Beautiful. Beautiful. <clears throat> One second. Anyway, sorry about that. Let's keep moving. Let's keep doing stuff. We need to make some solar panels. Let's go down here and get some steel. Let us go down here and get some steel. I believe we need five steel per panel. Right. Uh, yes, we do. Okay, so let's get some steel. We just go down here. We have to make it ourselves. So let's just uh, grab a bunch of that. We have a bunch of copper plates, so we should just like make a bunch of these while we're at it. So what are we missing out on? The electrical circuits. Now, we are already making quite a lot of circuits. Unfortunately, we need a lot of them. So if we just sort of stay here and pick up these circuits as we go along, we're going to hold F. This is probably the most entertaining thing you will ever watch. It's literally like watching grass grow. Maybe I should have just done all this crap afterwards. Also, some copper cables is what we need. Just go down here, pick up a bunch of copper cables. Even though making them, it's fairly quick to make them. The thing is, we're going to be doing all this crap while we just, like, muck around the, the world. Because we're pretty much making everything right now. Just solar panels is uh, the one thing that we need to make. And then we should be fine. Let's make some more of them right here. Let's be careful about crossing it. Where did I put my car? Dude, where's my car? Right. So, let's see. We are we are being attacked from down here. Apparently, I can move around now. I should have a little look around here. We could take these guys out. So many red areas. I'm not too sure what they indicate. Danger, I guess. <laughs> Danger. Oh, no. There's a little area over here that we can take out. There's some hostility. There's obviously a copper plant right here that we could try and take over. But I, I took that one instead because it was already close by. We are still being attacked over there. Let's have a quick look just to see if it's really bad. We're using the new personnel, uh, piercing rounds now. I keep saying personnel, piercing. Oh, we're gonna we're gonna try and beat the train to the base. We can make it. The train's catching up on us. Hmm. Let's not um get too cocky here. Okay, the train beat us. That's fine. We don't have to worry about it too much. We could have took the train, but we didn't. Let's just pause right here. Let's go up here and let's take these laser turrets. Whoa. <laughs> That's very noisy. <laughs> Not just sure what that was. Oh, we're taking copper from there. All right, then. Let's see. Let's take all of these uh, heavy lasers and let us put them over here. There we are. What we'll do is we will get these... P oh, no, we can't make more of them. <laughs> we're still making solar power thing with jigs. That's fine. What we can do is see if these guys need more ammunition. They do. So let's just uh, give them as much as they need. Let's just give them what I have. Then we'll go back to base and grab some more. And then we'll probably have a little look down south here. See what we can find. We might be able to find some cool areas that we uh, ignored before. Of course, we want to be careful of this little pile right here full of enemies. Now I guess... Oh, I think I hit something. <laughs> oh, crap. We hit something else again. We've got little bits of oil here. I'm not just sure what to do with those. I imagine later on it's probably some sort of uh, power source. Probably get some uh, oil wells going. For now, though, we can't do that. We'll just go down here. I think we're being attacked again. Yeah, from over there. Right, so if we... Uh, we can drive through here. Let's go, let's go in the drive through. There we go. Oh, crap. Out of fuel. Well, good thing we are close by to coal. What we'll just do is pick up as much coal as we want. There we are. We have uh, quite a lot. In fact, more than enough. Still little bits of iron here. Do we want to, like, mine it up forever? Oh, I want to mine home. There we go. <laughs> that was quick. There we go. We're filled. I completely forgot that you can just put stuff in your car. I I've never needed to. Your inventory is, like, good enough as it is. I guess later on it'll be pretty useful. Right, so we're going to make some more piercing rounds. It's still taking a long time to actually make all of these piercing rounds. And actually, all of the copper here is taking a long time to actually transfer. <clears throat> so, yeah. <laughs> Let's see how much we got. Quite a lot, I would say. Now, one, two, three, four, five, six. There we are. So, we've got 700 on, but that's uh, we've already got 100 on us that we're going to use. So, I guess we've got 600. We're slowly making it there. <clears throat> we still need to make some more of these uh, solar panels. Not enough ingredients, you say. Okay. What are we not... We don't have... Uh, the circuits. That's what we don't have. So we're going to pick a few more of these up. We're going to pick up some more of these circuits. And then just some uh, random crap here. There we are. 
Beautiful. Pick up some of these transport belts. Right, let's see. We can make seven more. Go ahead. Go nuts. Just going to keep making them while we're just uh, doing our average everyday stuff. Like, you know, doing random push-ups every now and then just to feel, like, energetic. That's what we're doing right now. It is night time, so going out and fighting is probably not the best idea now. But we're going to do it anyway. Apparently. Oh, we're being attacked down there. Okay. I mean, that's fine, really. Right, so we're going to make our way down south. I want to be careful here. Oh. I'm not just sure if we can damage them, but I'm not going to risk it. Not for, a, not for a bloody biscuit. See, driving at night is really bad because I just can't see a thing. So I'm going down here. I think we've got some iron there. We want to make our way around this way. There's a lot of trees in the way. So you want to be very careful here. We want to zoom right on in. Make our way through the uh, patch jungle right here. There we are. And then we'll follow this uh, river bank. Got some random bits of iron there. Which I think we uh, noticed before. Got some aliens here that are probably going to try and attack us as we pass. Oh, maybe not. Pretty awesome. They didn't. That's always good to see. So let's see. What do we have down here? We got some random pink stuff over here. Which I think those are just oil. Uh, yeah, those are just random splotches of oil. We got something else here, but that might be stone or nothing. I think it's nothing, actually. I think it might be just this weirdly, uh, just a weird patch of sand. Alright then. Anything else over here? Lots of wood, lots of enemies. I don't want to destroy those enemies right now, because their uh, defenses are very powerful. What is down here? Random bits of copper ore. Oh, what's going on down here? random sort of brush by the looks of it. So we got some enemies over here that we can very easily kill and we should probably kill them right now just so we don't have to deal with them later on. Oh no, Merv! Okay. He's, uh, he's destroying it. sounds so distressed when he makes that noise. <laughs> I guess he is distressed. He doesn't want to go out the bloody thingamajig room. Right, we're all fine. Let me just get back into position. Right. Let's go. I'm going to kill these guys. There's no sound. Why is that? Where'd the sound go? Well, I mean, it'd go out and back in, probably. Apologies about that. It was actually just my headset. That's fine. I, scared, I was a bit scared because all the... Uh, all the recorded footage was um, a bit weird sounding and by that I mean you couldn't hear me but everything else it's like what doesn't make sense but that's fine it's just my headset we've uh, destroyed this base we're gonna pick up all of this uh, delicious delicious alien artifact which is kind of pointless because we don't I mean we're not gonna do anything with it so <laughs> really we're wasting our time right now we can have a little look down here well we can have a little look across there first and then we'll finish off the entire exploration of the land right here, other than, of course, the right side. But we're not going to do that anyway, because we know it's probably going to be pointless. It looks like there's not much variety when it comes to the minerals, but that's probably because we are on a lower level. So it doesn't matter too much. There we go. We've explored that area. We'll have a little look down here, just in case we find the precious, like, mithril or something. I'm not too sure as to the minerals in this game. But it looks like we just found a random bit of iron ore. What's that? Random rock? Yeah. That's about it. Hopefully we can make bridges or something, uh, some other interaction with water other than making steam power in the future. Because hmm. at the moment it is just a bit pointless. Right, so we're going to go up here. And what we'll probably do is um, we'll probably just like stop for a little while and uh, just let everything sort of build up. We do need to make some more solar panels. I think we can make one more here. No, we can't. Let's be careful not to crash into these trees. This forest is so lush. Right, now we just uh, make our way forward here. Make our way through this little gap. Can't do much for going through that gap. but <laughs> I mean, we can go through here, though. Hopefully we don't crash into anything at the same time. And we don't want to go through that, actually. We just want to go around here and park where we usually do. Well, we'll park here anyway. Probably not the best place to park, really. Right, at least I've saved, so that if I do get crushed by this train, nothing bad will happen. I'm not just sure as to the death state in this game, whether you just respawn or something, I'm not too sure. It would be kind of weird if that was the case. 
So we're going to go up here. We've got 22 solar panels, nearly halfway. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> yep. That was my effort. Pick all these up. While we're doing it, we'll make more solar panels. There we are. Pick some more of this. Pick it. Yeah. Yo, we're going to pick it. Yeah. I'm not too sure what we're trying to do right there. Get some more of these transport belts. We're going to drink some green science for uh, the science sake. Mmm, delicious, delicious green science. They say it's the most traditional thing you can have, green science. I'm not too sure if you've, um, you've picked up on that. We need to have some more of this. Pick up three more packs of those. And we'll go down here and pick up some more steel. And hopefully, we've got, we've got nearly 1,000 of the uh, piercing rounds. That's pretty good to see. Pick up a few more of these. Make some more. There we go. <laughs> now, we're basically just uh, sort of sitting around, not doing very much right now. So, I think a good idea is for us to just sort of sit around for a little while, wait till we've got a little bit of um, piercing rounds to go. Since we can't necessarily kill anyone, I mean, we could drive down all the way there. But I feel like, what's a good idea? Is that um, we get what we need and advance to the next stage in our... Oh, look, at, look at what we've done. The next stage in um, our development of this game. I think that'd be a pretty good idea. Because we've been stuck on this level for a long time now. It's a good idea if we uh, just progress further and see what else we can actually do. Look at this, though. It's, it's so convoluted. It's unnecessarily, uh, well, unnecessarily complex looking. If you put an amateur in this game, threw him in, they would just be scared and wouldn't play. I'd be scared and wouldn't play. That's 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 life threatening. <laughs> it's absolutely fantastic to look at. But yeah, <laughs> but yeah, right. So I'm gonna be right back for a second, and the next time you see us, we'll be 500 piercing rounds away, or at least uh, for the most part, close enough to actually completing the game. Well, at least this level. Okay, so I'll see you in a second. And we're back, ladies and gentlemen. We have everything we need. Well, we're 100 away from having all the piercing rounds we need. I have filled my inventory with the piercing rounds that I require. And I've put everything else that we do require, including the solar panels, all 50 of them, into the boot of our car. I know the boot of our car is sort of similar to a bag of holding. It's just unlimited. It's quite ridiculous. We'll go and have a look just, to, just for proof. Since we are waiting for 100 more piercing rounds, it should be any minute now. Let's just have a little look up here. I nearly got hit by this train as well, which is pretty fantastic. I'm glad I didn't, because otherwise I would have missed it, and it would have been very funny. I'm not too sure what happens to all of this stuff if it gets destroyed. If, like, the car gets destroyed. Hopefully, I don't, you know, break anything. Ah, that would be quite unfortunate. Quite a lot of stuff, though. That's pretty fantastic. All the solar panels are in there. I'm thinking, though, as I was um, just sort of walking around... Uh, the Christmas tree. Uh, I was um, wondering whether they're giving us solar panels because the next level there's no water, meaning there's no steam power. I'm thinking there's probably going to be some sort of energy storage device for the next round. That would be quite interesting. At least that's what I would do as sort of a, um, a new way of trying to find power. Just so, because solar panels don't work in the, the night time. So you're going to need a storage of some form that's going to hopefully not run out by the time you um, finish up. And you've still got to be able to actually store power into the storage units while also powering everything else up at the same time. It means we're probably going to have to have four of these solar panel stations, well, uh, substations uh, connected to... How many solar panels is that? 25? Well, 24, I suppose. Do, do, do. Anyway, we will... Um, we're going to go down here. And we will, unless the substation acts as its own uh, power supply, uh, similar to a solar panel. I'm not too sure. It would say so. And it's not there, so there you go. Anyway, it says how much we got anyway, so <laughs> that's pretty great. What we'll do is we will see how many we've got. And then we will finally leave this hellhole onto the next mission. There we go. Fantastic. We have as many piercing rounds as we need. I'm going to take a bunch of this random crap with us as well, because I'm not too sure if we're going to be, if it's going to transfer over. So, I'm just going to assume it will. Uh, we'll take some cogs with us. I don't think it does, but um, <laughs> it's great. It's fine. We'll take some of these bricks with us. Signals. We'll take this X with us. I think that's pretty great. Take an engine. Why not? <laughs> Screw it. We'll take some science. That's a good idea. Take as much green and red science as we possibly can. Let's go along here. Let's just take all of the science. Fantastic. Look at that. So much science. Oh, wow. That stacks infinitely. 
by the looks of it. There we go, take some of this stuff. Go down here. Awesome, take some of these circuits and a bunch of this random crap. There we go, fantastic! We don't, I, I believe we have everything we need, which is pretty great. We have uh, engines being created in there, and for some reason have a bit of armor. I mean, that's fine, we could gather that armor. Actually, we'll probably make steel armor from now on. Heavy armor, which weighs an absolute ton, which is pretty great. Um, pretty, pretty great. It's got some resistances to acid and explosive. That's pretty interesting. I'm not looking forward to the acid enemies in the game. However, let's get going. I'm ready to go. Game finished. We killed 3,782 small biters. It took us 7 hours and 25 minutes to complete this. <laughs> we were on here for a long time, apparently. Let's keep going. Next level. Okay. Those are the tips and tricks. Where the hell are we? The ship's wreckage is located in the southeast. Okay, so let's go to the southeast then. Uh, what do we got on us right now? What's our inventory? Oh, everything we need. Fantastic. I need to get there and retrieve the computer required to access advanced technologies. Okay. Let's get in here. I don't like the look of this place. It's full of trees. Now, unfortunately, there's a large enemy presence in the area. We'll need some better weapons for that. Okay. So there's the large ship wreckage. Full of dynamite by the looks of it. Uh, but first, I need to destroy the small biters that uh, nest in the mid-north. Okay. So to the north is probably a much easier way of... Uh, you can throw grenades, which uh, I can't read that because fingers there. Splash damage uh, with uh, splash damage. Take the grenade to the cursor, press blah blah blah. We know how to do that. Uh, destroy by his nest and examine the wreck. Okay. Excuse me for a second. That was being quite jittery. Right, okay. So we do need to destroy those biters over there. He did say something about the north, and we do have to deal with some of these uh, small uh, worm thingamajigs, which are quite. Powerful, so we do need to be careful. The ship wreckage is right there, and we do have a sp uh, spider spawner right there. I guess we'll move up. I'm just not too sure as to what's going to happen to our death. What we'll do? Oh, you're right, Merv. What we'll do is we'll um, save Drink Night Factor, uh, Factor, apparently Drink Night Factor, and we will see what happens when we get a grenade and throw it in their face. Uh, well, we're going to have to get some of these guys to aggro near us first. We do have our guns ready. So I'm feeling pretty content with our offensive situation. Whoa, Big Mama over there. Get out of here, Big Mama. Okay, Big Mama dead. <laughs> Big Mama dead. Great. All right, throw grenades. It's not great. It's not great at all, in fact. I'm just going to kill him like this. It's much easier. We're lasting a decent amount, actually, against those guys now. They're not as powerful all of a sudden. Oh, crap. we got some hostiles. Big Mama again. Go away, Big Mama. Alright, we're going to destroy this before Big Mama... Oh, crap. Big Mama again. Spawns back very quickly. Okay, Big Mama going to take a grenade shot. Oh, crap. There's a lot of damage to us, apparently. She spawns back instantly. Yeah, take it. Okay. Destroy this. She's probably going to spawn back again. Oh, no. A little infant did. Fantastic. Okay, now we can explore the shipwreck. What's this? That's uh, another small ship wreck. Looks like it's just a bunch of uh, random wrecks. Here we are. Explosives can be used to make rockets, which are useful in conquering biter nests. Fantastic. Defender robots capsule spawn uh, spawn small flying robots that allow you to sh and that follow you and shoot at enemies. There are no resources here. You should set up a small specialized base. Uh, base. Build as many weapons as you can and destroy the biters. Okay, so we've got some explosives. That's pretty fantastic. We'll probably be able to make some of them. And we've got another shipwreck right here, which isn't really doing anything. Another, uh, get to the computer located southeast. Is that going to be dotted on a map? No, this map is huge, apparently. <laughs> okay, so to the southeast, we will find a computer. So what we'll do is we're going to get our car and have a little look around. We're going to look north first, because I believe the game did say something about going north. We're going to probably just have a little look around, make sure that we have uh, decent materials nearby before we actually make our base. So, surveying the land is going to be our first step. We're going to save first, just in case we do die. Do die. Captain, do die. Right, so let's see what's up here. Oh, no, it just stops. Okay, then. This map is actually quite small. Unless we are at the... I guess we're probably at the edge of the map. Well, I mean, we are at the edge of the map, but um, we're at the top left. Oh, crap, we've got some enemies to deal with. They are trying to follow us. 
Which means it's probably going to be a normal thing. Ah, Big Mama. That's a medium biter. Bloody hell, they're tough. I don't want to see the large ones. Right, so if we just uh, sort of drive around here. We have got a lot of water nearby, so that's fine. We've got a bunch of cool looking bits of um, wood right here. We're actually going to mine some of it up. So we do need some wood. I think we do. I don't know why we need wood. But I'm pretty sure we need it for something important. So we're just going to gather a little bit here. We're at 30, that's fine. Right. More driving required. There seems to be a lot of small rocks over here. Which is very interesting. We want to be careful. Don't want to drive. We're going to, well, we're going to be fairly precarious about driving through it right here. There's a lot of enemies down south, as you can see on the map. Let's just drive through these rocks very carefully. It's a good defensive line, though. Okay, and it looks like it's a very long map. We've got some enemies around here coming towards us. They're all small biters, which is easy to deal with. There we are. We want to go through here by the looks of it. It looks quite safe. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> maybe not. Actually, it does look safer than going... Oh, crap. No. We've got some big worms right here. Okay. Probably don't want to do that then. They've already prepared for us flanking through their lands. Which means they want to go over here, which we should have done before, to be honest. And then we want to go through there and go south instead. I don't want to make a base here because there's no minerals. That's the thing. So, I mean, we've got some stone right here by the looks of it, but that's not really going to do much. There we go. We've got a very, very large bioness right here. Big spawner. We've got some stone. More stone. Some more big rocks right here. Shipwrecks. There's another shipwreck. We've got some missiles and something else. And we've got some small worms right here. We have a decent amount of uh, piercing rounds. So I think we can deal with it. Looks like there's a big mama right there, I think. Keep calling it big mama. There we are. We should be able to kill her before she gets to us. Maybe not. I lied. That's fine. I'm going to go down here. There's a... Oh, crap. Ah, get out of here! Two medium biters. We're done. Save yourselves. Are they coming toward us? Yep, they are. They're making their way towards us. It's fine. I'm not a coward. You're a coward. Here they come. It looks like we're going to have to deal with them no matter what. Some of the small ones anyway. Nope, we've got some big ones still. Might want to make some more grenades to deal with these guys. Or maybe a shotgun. Oh, I see that like, slow mo I feel like I was playing Killing Floor then. Right, so we could make ourselves a rocket launcher, which I think is pretty great. Why didn't I do that before? I don't know. So fantastic, we have a rocket launcher now. I don't know how to switch weapons. I guess we're going to find out in a minute. When I go into the control menu. Here we go. And then we will make ourselves some rockets. There we are. Right, so let's see. If we go into options right here, controls. So where would it be? Inventory? Let's see. No. Game. Be like change weapon or something like that. Uh, new weapon. Next weapon. So it'll be Q. And it will turn green, I imagine. No? It's not working. I'm not too sure why that is. Maybe it's because i got no rockets in there, so it won't be used. Let's see. Wow, making those rockets takes a little while. Hopefully it's got a decent range. Oh, crap. Big Mama's coming! She always gets to us. Thankfully, we've got, like, massive regen. Ah, there we go. Now we can switch to our weapon. Okay, that's good. We'll make a few of them, even though they take a long time to make. And we will nuke the fuck out of them. <laughs> Our piercing rounds are running low. Whoa, that's very loud. Alright, we'll go down here. Actually, we can get closer. Why not? Don't want to waste our time. We want an escape route as well. I want to zoom out a little bit here so that we're at a good distance. Good enough. Okay, here we go. 